hybrid function. And this is an interesting one because we want to know for what values of x is this function continuous and for what values of x is this function differentiable. So this is a hybrid function because it's a function comprised of three separate rules on three separate domains here. So we want to be able to define a hybrid function. So I'll press the on key and go to a calculator page and again menu actions define. So I'm going to define f1 of x And I want to get a branch here. Now, again, from this template, we can see that we've got our branch of three bits there. So that will give us the graph in three bits. So if we press Enter there, piecewise functions, yes, OK, pieces, three, so press Enter. So in the first one, I'm going to type in x squared plus 1. And this is where I type in the domain for that piece. So that's x greater than 1. Move the cursor into this piece and then press the right arrow. In here, I'm going to type in minus 1 is less than or equal to. So control equals will give me the less than or equal to. X and control tab again. Control equals again will give me the, in the wrong spot, should still be here, control equals less than or equal to 1. Now move the cursor into the correct spot. Here I'm going to type in x plus 2, press the right arrow, and now we're going to type in x is smaller than minus 1. All right, so that's defined my piecewise or my hybrid function. Now, when I go to the graphs page, I've already sketched this. Calculator does not put in these values, but they're done previously with a, a labeling command and putting a point on the graph. We can see that the graph, the two points here, this part of the graph and this part of the graph are joining up at the point where x is 1. So again, the graph, the calculator did not put in that closed circle there. I added that one later. And a closed circle there, and I added an open circle there to illustrate what's going on. So at x equals minus 1, the graph does not join up. So what that means is that the graph is continuous at x equals 1 because it joins up, but it's not continuous at x equals minus 1 because the graph does not join up. Differentiability, though, is another point here. The graph cannot be differentiated at the point where x equals 1 because we have not got a smooth join there. And the graph certainly cannot be differentiated at the point where x is minus 1, as it is not continuous there. To um, see these a little bit further, let's add a calculator page. And let's just see what this function f1 of x is again. And now if I want to take the derivative of the function, for example, I'll press this um, uh, template here, or I could have got it from the menu, calculus menu, d by dx of f1 of x. Notice the strict inequalities here that equal to and equal to here, but in this one we are strictly less than. And I think that's a very important point. The derivative of this one is 2x for x greater than 1. The derivative of a constant 2 is 0, but the derivative is not defined at x equal to 1 or at x equal to minus 1 and the derivative of x plus 2 is just x equal to 1. All right, so that's differentiating and stating the domain of the hybrid function. So a very sort of important little result there.